Those violent protests erupting overnight at UC Berkeley. The campus locked down as more than a thousand people rallied against the appearance of a controversial editor from Breitbart, Milo Yiannopoulos. The clash has escalated. The speech was canceled. And just moments ago, President Trump did weigh in again. ABC's Kana Worth is on the scene in Berkeley with all the latest. Good morning, Kana. And George, good morning. It was a terrifying night. Campus police issuing a shelter in place order after college Republicans invited Milo Yiannopoulos to speak. Now behind me, this is a police generator that was knocked over and set on fire when these protests turned into a riot. Overnight mayhem on campus. The University of California Berkeley erupting in flames as over a thousand came out to protest an appearance by the self-described right-wing internet troll Milo Yiannopoulos. We will not tolerate racism or sexism or hate crimes and violence. He's a fascist and Berkeley did not welcome him. At least six people were injured, including this Trump supporter who was pepper sprayed. The university canceling the speech. Hey, Milo, we shot you down. Riot police even retreating to the building for safety. You can hear them urging the crowds to leave. I think we have a right to say that we don't want him here. And um, the standoff intensifying as protesters lit fireworks. Police firing back. It's going too far right now. This this. This is uncalled for. It's not going to get no message across. Yiannopoulos, an editor for Breitbart News and an avid supporter of President Trump, responding on Facebook, posting this video. Because they're so threatened by the idea that a conservative speaker might be persuasive and interesting and funny and might persuade, you know, might take some people with him. Um, they just have to shut it down at all costs. And President Trump taking to Twitter this morning, asking the question, no federal funds if UC Berkeley does not allow free speech. Robin. All right, Kana, thank you very much.